what is up guys it's your boy black and furious here and today we're going to be playing some call of duty world war 2 this is week two of the beta was well, actually my first week actually playing the game so i'm ready to jump on into it this is not my first match i've been playing a little bit you know trying to get my feet wet and i have to tell you this game here is not worth the 60 but it's worth that good old 35 <laughs> Like the maps and the weapons are not uh, not even close as good as the previous Call of Duties that came out. But this gun here, the PPSH, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm actually kind of feeling this gun. I've been using it in every match. Even though I have the unlock tokens to unlock every other gun, I still use this gun over everything else. Because when you put that silencer on there, and you know you have the right attachments. I think I'm running the quick draw and the what's that what's that the grip you know I gotta have that good old accuracy but when you rocking that man that's all you really need now the feeling I have for this game is kinda like a mixed feeling you know it, even though we're back the boots on the ground I still feel like this game is missing something that the previous Call of Duty's had and that was probably one of the things that got me far back from this game and I think that it's I mean it's pretty fun don't get me don't get me wrong here. It's pretty fun. The score streets probably need some work on. Actually, I pretty much don't like the score streets that much. The weapons, you know, I haven't been using that many weapons. I've just been using this gun here and the greaser. I think that's the first gun I ever used because I picked the what's it called? I picked the airborne class. You know, if I can get that good old silencer, I didn't want the bayonet or the other bull crap that they gave you. I just want that silencer, man. If I can be a ghost on the map. But anywho, guys, the maps. Ah, uh, this map we're playing on now, I pretty much don't like it that much. And that new map, I think it's like a town or whatever. Man, that map sucks ass. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, that map sucks. Every time I get on that map, it's not because I go negative every match. Maybe it's because I go negative every match. But the map just freaking garbage. I think my only two map, the only two maps that I like is that um, the map with the trenches and the other map where it's like, you know, it's pretty daytime, summer looking. You know, it has that bunker and everything on the map. I like that map as well. But other than that, guys, I mean, this game, it, like I said before, it's not as good as the previous Call of Duty's game, but it it, it got this, it got this little position up there. Now, I'm not saying it's got that position up there with top tiers, but it got that position to be like that game that you get on and play just because your friends are playing it, or maybe you're just fiddling in that Call of Duty mood or something. But to be honest with you guys, I, I might get this game. I might. You know, I gotta keep on playing this game, see how it feels for me. But for right now, I mean, as long as I got that PPSH in my hand, I'm I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it to the max. Even though these guys are whipping our ass in this gameplay, um, I think I think I'm gonna try out the STG next match. I know a lot of people been talking about that gun. A lot of people been saying it's overpowered. A lot of people been saying the gun doesn't have any accuracy. No, I'm gonna be the judge of that. I'm gonna try it out and see how it is. I mean, hopefully it's a pretty good gun. Hopefully the rumors are true. <laughs> I believe this game's for the end right right now. Go ahead and see if I can do some flanking action right quick. Uh, does it look like anybody here? But yeah, guys, like I said, we're going to try the STG and see how we do it. Alright, guys, so we got the STG rocking. Let's see how we do it. Let's see if we can do some flanking action on this map. Oh, yes, we can. What the hell? I don't even know what happened right there, guys. i tell you. It's like jump shotting and drop shot shotting is back in this game. I'm kind of feeling that. I'm kind of not feeling it because I back in the old days I used to die by that bull all the time. I know you guys can feel me when I say that. No homo. Right, let's see. Was there all of? Oh, when in doubt, just sit there in the same position and count. I'm just playing with you guys. See what the enemies are doing up here. Oh no, nothing. Oh, time to get the hell on out of there. You're not gonna do me like that. Sit down, buddy. 
Oh, you sit down too, buddy. Uh, already level two? He can level up these weapons so fast in this game. We got a little bloodthirsty action going on. Got a care package. Now, I do not know why I'm rocking the paratrooper score streak. A lot of people have been saying that this score streak sucks ass. And man, I, I don't know why I'm rocking. I believe you got to get something like 13 kills without dying. 13 kills. Who the hell going to get 13 kills without dying? Well, let me stop saying that. But who the hell want to try to get 13 kills without dying for a sorry ass score streak? I don't, I don't get it. So I just rocked the care package and I'm probably going to change that score streak once this game is over. I have to tell you the way the UAV works and the way that whole mini map configuration works, it sucks. <laughs> not not going to lie to you. I, I do not like the mini map at all. Like these little red bars glow up on the top of the mini map or the top of the circle whatever. I'm just not feeling it guys. I like the old the old mini maps. And man, whoever ideal was it for that shotgun, but they is hell. Literally they is hell for that. I mean that I haven't used it yet, but boy a lot of people complaining about it. A lot of people want that gun fixed. Even though I wasn't facing that guy to kill him, but still. That, that's some overpowered type shit right there. But you know, it, it's not as overpowered as the Striker back in Modern Warfare 3. Oh man. Now that gun there, when like when it first came out, I think in the beta or whatever, boy, the Striker was amazing. Let's see what I can do to this guy right here. What are you doing? Man, trying to get a sneak peek and only get a. Damn! You know what? Hey, if the guy was actually good at the game. He probably would have paid me right there with that shotgun, but it is what it is. See if we can do some push up action. Damn, they told me up, boy. Good. <laughs> they, they didn't even give me a second to breathe right there. They just, boy, they just blow my ass. I mean, I, I can see myself playing this game for a whole year, though. Can y'all see y'all playing this game for a whole year? I, I don't think y'all can, but... Damn. You know, if stuff like that keep on happening, then probably probably a couple months. But the thing about it, guys, so many good games are coming out this year. So many good games are coming out next year that... Might not have even... Not, might not even have time for Call of Duty, you know? Cause there'll be so much better coming out in the near future. I ain't gonna lie, I count for that kill, I ain't gonna lie. I think that was the same person right there. <laughs> Don't I feel bad for buddy. Alright, I think we're in the enemy spawn. It might be over with. We might get pain, you never know. That's the thing about it. When you're reading the minimap and you're like thinking about where the enemies are spawning at, it's hard for me in this game, boy. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. In the creep, oh we don't want to hurt his footsteps, man. It was over with. But when when I um, what's called, when trying to figure out where the enemies are spawning at, it's pretty hard for me because you never know. You you see all your teammates on the other side, yet the enemies are still spawning over there. I mean, the spawn points in this game is kind of hard to read for me. Oh damn. Double down. Triple down. I'm doing these folk nasty. Oh man. I was doing them folk nasty until they found out about it. Gonna throw my care package down. Hopefully we'll get something good. Most likely. Most definitely we'll we'll be getting another UAV. I just like how my teammate stands near it, man. <laughs> He just thinks I'm gonna let him have it. No, buddy, you gotta work for that. You can't get nothing in life for free. You better go ahead and get them five kills. Or well, six kills, I, I forgot. I know it takes a lot of kills to get a freaking UAV in this game. You know, usually it takes about, you know, three, four kills, but. That, that ain't the story in this game. 
I guess that's a good thing. Because, you know, you won't have a UAV spam every three seconds. You know, everybody and their mama got a damn UAV. Let's see what I can do up here. Somebody on the MG. Oh, damn. That gun didn't have no recoil right there. I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of actually feeling the STG. This gun is pretty cool now. I see why a lot of people use it. Now, is it better than my PPSH? Uh, no, but, I mean, this gun is something. I might use this gun for the next three games, you know, try to get all the attachments for it and see what I can do with it. Well, guys, this game is about to end. You know, it was a good, good talking to you guys. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. You know, I'll be posting content like this on the daily. When I say daily, I mean the daily. The daily combustion. So yeah, I'll be posting content like this on the daily. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And anywho, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.